add 27 to the power of 2 over 3. Now if you remember, if you want to crunch numbers, reduce numbers, uh, or simplify things, you want to reduce the numbers first instead of making them bigger, right? Uh, remember exactly. when we were doing multiplying fractions, you didn't multiply all the numbers up top, multiply the numbers at the bottom, and then break them to the prime numbers and kill them, right? What you did was kill whatever you could kill and then multiply things up. So the same type of principle works here. When you're evaluating numbers, simplifying numbers, what you want to do is reduce them first and then make them bigger if you have to. So to reduce numbers, you're going to deal with the fraction, the exponent first, because that's a radical, that's a root. So it's going to make this number smaller, and then you're going to square it. So the way it works is, whenever you get fraction, when you get fractions in the radical, usually deal with the denominator first. And 3 here means it's the cube root of 27, right? So this will be cube root of 27 squared. Now, cube root of 27 break down the street, uh, your prime factors, 27 is 3 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3, right? So 27 is 3 times 3 times 3, and you want the cube root of it, that means you're looking for triplets, well, you got your triplet right here. So these guys come out of the root symbol as a single 3, so this will be 3 squared, right? And 3 squared is 9. Okay? So 27 to the power of 2 over 3 is just 9. So that's the way rational numbers work. So basically with the natural numbers, if you put anything from the natural number set in the exponent, it clones itself. The number of times it says you should clone it. If you put anything from the whole number set, it clones it if it's one of the natural numbers, which is two, 1, 2, 3, all the way to infinity. And if you include the 0, if you put a 0 up top, it makes whatever is here, the whole thing, equal to 1. If you go to the integers, with the integers, it flips it. With the rational numbers, it puts it in the radical. And it basically becomes the root of. Now, I'm going to do a lot of examples with this stuff. And hopefully, you can see it. I'm going to start off slow and break it all down. With the irrational numbers, you just put the irrational number there. If it's negative, then it flips it if it's an irrational number. Irrational numbers are, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're a special case. So we're going to deal with those later. They basically include everything here. You just can't do it as nicely. You break it down and stuff. Um, well, you can't. You need a calculator to do it, or you've got to be really good at uh, doing it by hand. Okay? So this is basically our real number set applying to anything in the exponent, and exponents are basically radicals, okay? So exponents are radicals, they come from the rational number set, okay? We're gonna do a lot of problems with these things, uh, because I know it sort of becomes complicated, and you gotta be really good at simple algebra, which is just basically addition multiplication uh, with fractions, and just break it all down, because it's, um, again, like I said before, you have to be able to massage numbers, break them down, and really understand the real number set because this whole thing, this real number set is the majority of the numbers, it should be almost all the numbers you deal with in high school, except if they introduce uh, imaginary numbers, the square root of a negative one, uh, of negative numbers basically. So the real number set is, it's crucial for you to understand this because it applies everywhere. One of the first places it applies, it breaks it down into its different sections in the exponents, which is, again, a huge part of high school mathematics, where you have to learn how to break numbers down. And all of this, this whole thing, is really dependent on, not dependent on, but it's really important for you to know the prime numbers, because you use prime numbers, you break things down basically uh, based on their prime factors, especially in the rational numbers in the exponent, which becomes radicals, the root of, the cube root of, square root of, the fifth root of, whatever root of, whatever number is in the denominator, we're over here, whatever's the number in the denominator it goes to the radical. So whatever you put there, that's the root you want. So all of that is dependent on you being able to break things down into their prime trees, prime factors. Okay. Super important. We're going to do a lot of examples with this. 
hopefully this made sense. I had to do this real quick. I've come here like four times and it's always been busy, so we had to get it done. We had a little lull period there, okay? So uh, go through this and um, we're gonna have a lot of, uh, lot of examples coming up. Uh, uh, exponents. Okay. Yeah. So basically it's broken down into natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and rational. And each one does a special thing. Who says the diagonal one, two, three clones itself repeats itself? Yeah. Like you said? Yeah. So it does. Do you want to show you? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's my time. Yo, that's my time. I know all you fellas have had a lady in your life that you really appreciated. And you wanted to do something special for her and let her know it. Well, I got a lady like that. And I wrote this song for her. I saw you at the bar or something I ain't really wanna holler or nothing I just peg you as the type for fronting Steady talking with your girlfriends Acting contrary and clucking But your song came on And something changed in the way She was moving them long Eyelashes caught flashes of the possibilities Maybe this one is the one for me She's moving to the dance floor We'll see What I seen was inspirational Highly motivational Had to maneuver to set up the confrontationals Even though it was my chance to mac I'd already did my dance Had the reservoir tapped Hit me like a thunderclap No, can't let something that fat pass by. Why ask why? Made my way through the crowd with the side to side.